Yeah, of course, there are lots of stuff you can do in Excel. You can use your Excel to add up large numbers. You can do quite a lot of arithmetic operations. But the focus for today is for addition, sum, and also average. How can you use this when you have like this kind of table we have on this sheet? For instance, and this is just like um, a description showing the names of students in a class. And um, let's assume this where the test score they had in the first, the second, the third, and the fourth test. And as the class teacher, you need to add up the score of each of the students um, in all of the four tests, which is 40% of the total mark. So in order to do that, the first, um, the first row here, you can just click on this point where you want to add up these numbers. I want to add up these numbers here, and um, I want to have the, the total mark here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, and I'm going to press the equality sign equals to. Then I press sum. The sum function is um, you can press it. You can press S U M, and it's going to show here. And um, once you see this, you can just open your bracket, and it it asks for number one, number two. It depends. You can write it manually, but I prefer to just mark the numbers I want to add up. So I have these four numbers here, and then I can press enter. So this gives me the score, the sum of the the, uh, the score of the first student here. And since I already entered this function, I have to just come to this point where I have this mark. Then I drag this down through the other ones. And yeah, I have the sum of each of the students for the test one up to ten, test four. Now I have their exam score already because the exam score is um, depending on their performances. And now for the total, which is going to be the sum of the, the test, the test one to four, as well as the exam. So which is going to give me the 100%. So to do that, I'm going to apply the same. I'm going to have my quality sign, then the sum as well. Then in this case, the sum of what? It's the sum of this and this. So that gives me this. So I can do the same for all the other ones. And I have the score of each of the students um, easily mm -hmm. within few seconds. Now, um, I want to show us another part. Like for instance, if you maybe are using it for business, you have mm -hmm. your, the, the figures in each month, the sales you made in each of the months, and you want to know how much you made. Let's assume this person has uh, 10 stores, store A to J. And um, you can decide to know how much you made in January. To do that, you already have total year. Then you come to this point and the same thing, equality sign, sum. Now, the sum of what you mark what you want to sum up here, which is this, then you press enter. So this is the, um, the, the amount that this person made in January for store A to J. Now, this person can decide to do the same for all of the months by just dragging through the side. You're going to get the total of each of the months for store A to J. And the same thing applies if you are just interested in the amount that store A made from January to December. You come to this point here and you just put your quality sign, sum as well. You press sum and it's going to show up here. Um, then you do the same, you mark from this point down to this point. So that's going to give you the sum. So the sum from January to December for store A is this amount. And you can do the same by dragging this down up to this point to know what the other stores have. Then for the average, you can do the same. Um, average is, um, it, you have to press the quality sign first. It goes by the by a v e we have different kind of average but you can just use this one the normal average and um, the same thing you mark the average you want to calculate then you do this you press enter so this is the average amount for in january for store a to j 
and of course you can do the same for all of the months if you want and yeah so the same applies to this average if you want to calculate average for just store a from january to december you press a v e average then you can click on the average option here and you mark everything you have up to this point and of course you have the average and you can do the same for all of the stores from a to j yeah i hope you found this video helpful thank you